Excuse us. She admitted to stealing money from her hometown, yet Rita Crundwell didn't utter a word, not even an apology. Excuse me. As she left court today, the first time as a federal criminal. Right. Any idea why she wouldn't talk to us today and just apologize to the people of Dixon? Can't answer any questions. But the question of where that $53 million went was all around the 59-year-old. Horses, trailers, custom furniture, flat screen TVs, a Florida vacation home. The best of the best, all paid for with taxpayer dollars. Taxpayers angry enough to show up and hear Crundwell say the word guilty. I've um, known her all my life and I worked with her face to face and she lied and cheated to us and and I feel betrayed. It's caused a lot of turmoil, a lot of hard feelings, a lot of, you know, accusations. I would really myself like to see some sign of remorse. I haven't seen it at all. It should serve as a warning and hopefully a lesson. Acting U.S. Attorney Gary Shapiro, alongside the FBI and United States Marshals, say Crundwell's master plan should have been caught sooner. And despite her seemingly honest image, even the generous hometown girl can tell a lie. Public officials who manage their citizens' money need to trust if they must, but they need to verify. Uh, there was, as far as we can tell, no verification here.